Please welcome Sustainability Community Relations Senior Officer Solve Alexander Dale and Assistant Professor, Department of Urban Studies, MIT, Mariana Arpaio. Good morning. I lead the sustainability work for SOL, which is rooted in water, food, energy, and climate change. I'm here to introduce you to Dr. Mariana Arcaya, who's an assistant professor within MIT's Department of Urban Studies and Planning, um, to officially launch our new sustainability challenge. Mariana's work, like so much of SOLVE, sits at the interface between several topics, and I'm delighted that she'll be working close with us as we search for solutions to create sustainable urban communities. Thanks, Alexander. I'm Mariana, and I'm really excited to be here. My work sits at the intersection of public health and urban planning, helping to understand how the design of our cities and communities shapes health, social justice, and socioeconomic outcomes. We've known for a long time that community design and access to resources such as safe water and food are linked. Finding ways to improve access to these basic needs for the third of urban residents that lack basic infrastructure is a critical part of creating a sustainable society, along with a healthier community. Neighborhoods need better access to food production and supply chains, water treatment, and infrastructure that can cost effectively avoid or remove contaminants. In addition to lacking basic needs, cities often rely on unsustainable food and water sources, such as carbon intensive food or overdrawn uh, groundwater aquifers. The demands for both mitigating climate change and adapting to its inevitable effects will require new options for sourcing food and water and will even shift how we consume these resources. This is a complex but critical set of topics, and I'm looking forward to working on the new Solve Urban Sustainability Challenge. How can urban communities increase their access to sustainable and resilient food and water sources? We will be searching for technology-based approaches and convening stakeholders for the broader institutional conversations that need to take place around these issues, and we hope that many of you will join us.